Yo boys, what is going on and welcome back to another video here on the channel today. We're going to be playing with some 2.6 Hog. So maybe because the Ice Golem's got a little bit of a buff, so it was time to give it a try. Now my Ice Golem is only level 13, so I'm not fully maxed out in this deck, but it is only the Ice Golem, so it should be okay. okay. We're going to go for the Fireball there. We should get Fireball. Ooh, are we going to hit? Aww, oh, we could have hit the, the Lumberjack as well, but in proper nice. But we're going to go for the Ice Golem plus Cannon. Just take all that, pull it around, and that should be a pretty easy defense. We did get some nice damage there on the right. We are starting, we are playing this game on um, Trophy Road, so we are around 18,000, or not 18,000, I wish. Not that that's even a thing. Uh, we are around 8,080, uh, I think. We're playing a wee bit below our, thing, our standard here. He's 8040. Okay, this guy's going to have the Tornado, which isn't ideal for us, but we do have 2.6, so I'm sure we can outcycle him. Hmm, we might just go for a must here in the back here. We'll see what he wants to do. He's going to go for the Valkyrie in the back. So we're just going to wait till we hit 10 and then go for our cannon. Going to take a fireball damage on the left and get some damage off on that Valkyrie. He's probably going to go Lumberjack. No, but we're going to go Ice Golem anyway, actually, instead of the cannon. And then we can also back up our Ice Golem with the Hog Rider. Very nice. And then we can go musky. I'm gonna go musky down low on the right hand side. Okay, cool. We go ice golem up high. Get some good damage in. Then we go skeletons. Should pull all that, and then we're just gonna go log. That should clean that up pretty nicely without taking too much damage. You take one hit, but that's okay. Ooh, we're gonna take some damage here though. Okay, we're going to go Fireball. There's not much else I can do. I tried to get the Ice, the Dark Omen in as well, but I couldn't. Uh, that was just me being bad. So yeah, just don't do what I just did. We didn't even need to Hog there, to be honest. That is Fireball range, so that is a bit of a bad play from us as well. But we do manage to get a lot of Elixir out of them. Would have been nice if we could have managed to clean that up, though. So we go Ice Golem here. Pull the Lumberjack. Lumberjack does a lot of damage. We don't really want to mess around with it. We're going to go for the Musketeer in behind. And then it's just a whole lot of spamming from here, to be honest. And we're going to go Ice Golem again. Keep everything up. And very nice. What does Fireball do? There's 274. I haven't used Fireball in a long time. But we're just going to take that damage now. Get rid of that Lumberjack a little bit. Very nice. You go Musketeer down low. Go for a can here in the middle. And that is going to be a very nice win. He did get one lucky breakthrough. But to be honest, other than that one... Like attack we couldn't defend. It's a pretty easy game. So that's a straight in the game number two. And we'll be our straight back in for game number two. We are 8103 now after that win. So we were a little bit above that guy in trophies, but that's okay. Now we do have a bit of a mismatch here. He is level 15. We are not. So our ice spirits and stuff are not able to connect, which is a bit annoying in the deck like this. We got ice golem that gets down in time, it does. Very nice. Okay, he is Inferno. So maybe a bit of a difficult game, but We'll see it out. He's got the level 15 golem bar. We need to be very careful of that. <coughs> Excuse me. If that level 15 golem bar gets anywhere on my tower without me doing anything about it, it is going to be big trouble. We're going to go for a big attack here on the left. Um, he does the level 15 prince as well. This guy's got like full level 15. <coughs> um, fair play to him. Like I, I've, I think I have two right now. And to be fair, I am like halfway towards my next one. Which will be quite nice to get. Especially mainly, honestly, for the XP of it. Um, you get 50,000 XP for what for a level 15, which is crazy. I used to wonder how do people get up to like, <clears throat> be like, obviously it's not level 15 outside, it's like what, like level 40 or 55 or something. Um, I used to wonder how people did that. If you don't mind going cannons, just in case he went princess, just to distract them, so it discourage him going princess for a long time. We're going to go musketeer in the back here. But yeah, I used to wonder how, like, because currently my level is 100,000 XP, so I was like, how am I meant to get that? But obviously... It's 50,000 per level 15, so it's really just encouraging you to go for the level 15s. Go scan some middle to try and, in case you want to go for the early, um, yeah, early Infirmitar, which he didn't, so. Scanons were a bit of a waste, but that's okay. Now we go for Ice Golem now. Nice, we do catch that. We, go, we just need to kind of keep something down all the time in case he goes Princess. That level 15 Princess packs a punch on our tower, so we can't really risk it. We also have to hit perfect logs, simply just because um, 
yeah, the level 15 survives three shots, I think it is, which will just do so much damage to us. So yeah, we can't really risk the missing out. Now we're going to get a Psycho going here. He's going to put down Inferno, but we just want to out-cycle I kind of expected the Inferno. I'm not too worried about it. We are going to take Fireball damage. Oh, he's going to go in for that. So we can definitely go in for our... No, we can't even because he has the Inferno down. I can go Ice Golem in the back here. I feel like this game could come down to the level, which is a bit annoying. We're going to go Log. I know it's a bit unconventional because we do need our Log, but... Okay, we're going to get some nice damage there. We can go for the cannon. We need to get back around to our log right now. Okay, nice. It's right there. That's fine. Very nice. We can go in for the musketeer here. Really bad inferno tower for him. Please tell me we get that out. We do. Very nice. And then we're just going to go for the fireball damage on the inferno and the uh, tower. So, uh, just so we can... Because we can't really go for a hog until after all that's gone anyway. Oh, we do miss the log. Okay, we need to be careful. Let's go for our Ice Golem plus Hog. He is going to have his Inferno back. Okay, we're going to go for the Musketeer here. That's not great for us. Let me get that down now. And then we're back to Ice Golem plus Hog. And I think if we just go Fireball here... Okay, he does go in for the rocket. We can go cannon. We're going to skeleton for now. Very nice. And then we can go for hog rider. We're going to go fireball and we're just going to try and cycle around. Hopefully before he does. Okay, we can go. We're just going to keep throwing in our cycle cards. Tell me that's not level 15. And we do pull off the win, boys. Really good second game from us, even with the level disadvantage. Let's up showing the game number three. And yes, boys, we are back for game number three against Yet Sweat. Hopefully we can go 3-0 today. This, we're doing per pretty well. That last game was quite close. But luckily enough, we did manage to come away with a win. I thought the level difference might have cost at one point, but it did not. If you had thought about it, I guess, um, <laughs> like, technically it wouldn't have been as close as it was if we were both level 15, but... We're not. Now, we are up against a Sparky player, so he's probably zero IQ. Just like me, apparently, for going for that play. But we do... Oh, that's going to be some nice damage. Well, it should be. I really do need to level up my Sparky decks because... Um, I don't really have any Sparky decks. I, I need to make Sparky decks as well, which might be a helpful stage one. Because Sparky is busted right now. I absolutely hate the card. I think it needs just... It needs something done about it because I find it impossible to play against. And yes, half that probably is just me being very bad. But at least the other half is the fact that it's too easy. And that's okay because it's at least a half. Okay, what are we going to do here, boys? We're going to wait. We wait, we wait, we wait. I can't really go for the um, Hog Redder yet because I... Oh, he's going to change lane and go same as us. See, in this match, we can go opposite lane, which is a little annoying. Because we, if we go same lane, he's just going to keep cycling his Sparkies, and we're never going to get any damage done. The only thing we have good about this deck with the Sparky is that we do have a lot of, like, distraction cards, cycle cards. But this is, I think, this is going to be big damage here, uh, which isn't ideal. Or maybe not. Maybe we can pull off the defense. Okay, now we're going to go for this. We're going to go for Ice Spirit. Very nice. Clean defense. Hmm. Okay, Yet Sweat. Yoinky Sploinky. What a clan. And that is, that is one of the best things I've seen today. Okay, now we're going to wait. And we're going to go for Hog with the Prediction Log whenever we get it back. Because I can imagine he's probably just going to spam out the... Yeah, right. If we go Hog. Wait a second. And then our Log. And it, we didn't catch it. That's a bit unlucky for us. Okay, we should get some decent damage on the left here. Or not on the decent damage. I was hoping to get damage on the Sparky. We didn't get as much as I was quite hoping for. Okay, and then we go for the Ice Spear down low. We can go Cannon again. Ah, and that's going to be game, I think. Bit annoying. We do take a hit, which is going to cost us big time. 
Okay, we can go for this plus this. Now we can go for the hog with the log again. Nice, we do catch it that time. Very close game on our hands here. So we can go for Ice Spirit, or Ice Golem, sorry. Not bad. We're gonna go with Spirit as well. Didn't even need to log there, but we did just for just for safety. You can never be too safe against Sparky players. Now he's probably gonna swap lanes again, because <clears throat> he knows he's in trouble. And he knows he can get damage a lot easier than I can. That could second it. Hit tw twerking Piggy for the W. Really good gameplay today boys, we're 3-0. And yes boys, this is the deck that we did use in today's video. Now you all know what 2.6 is, I'm sure. And um, if, if you don't, well then, welcome to the club. This is one of the, previously one of the most hated decks in the game way back in the day. If you're an OG, you probably remember that. Obviously if you do have the Skeleton Evolution, it's much better to use. I don't, but the deck, honestly, like you don't need it. The deck runs we all know a 2.6, I don't need to say any more about it. But yeah boys, if you did enjoy today's video, do be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and drop a comment below. Let me think, let me know what you thought of today's video. And yeah boys, I will see you on the next one. Peace out.